Good morning, everybody. It's me again. It, it's Steve. Thankfully, you can't see me, but you can see the Ventrac. I'm here at a, a Terry Tuff and Teleco uh, to do some stump grinding today. And first thing I've got to do is, is, is clean my mirror, as you can see. Uh, it's in pretty bad shape. Uh, <clears throat> let's look at the stumps here. First time I've worked in a while. I, I took a welding class for about... Uh, uh, two and a half three weeks to get these are not big stunts but anyway i took a welding class for three weeks uh, and then i had uh, my four-wheel drive go out on my truck and let's see if i can guarantee that I, this is, looks like an old dogwood or something maybe you can see right there uh, it's not a very big stunt probably take about 30 minutes or so and there's another one. Oh, I parked right beside uh, the trailer. But the four-wheel drive went out on the truck. Last week, I guess it was Sunday, a friend of mine, John Graves and I, as I told you, our hobby is metal detecting. And we came up here, I came up to look at the stumps. And I noticed this building the first time I came over and looked at the stumps. This is an old school. It was Brown Hill School. And we detected this lot uh, with permission, by the way. Uh, we did that, and up here to the left is a, uh, a Mason's Hall. I think the original church was built sometime around 1898, and I think it's set up there. So we detected this lot and around that old tree and, and uh, around the school. And, be honest, I think there's been a lot of dirt work moved. I know all those stumps, so they had to push those trees. The only thing we found was some old Lincolns, and uh, I found uh, what's left of an old pocket knife. There wasn't much of it left at all, but. Found an old pocket knife. Anyway, that's what we did. We had fun doing it. I uh, started to film it and there just wasn't any finds. Well, I did film it, but there just wasn't anything we found that was interesting. And so I didn't, but let's get to work. I've got to clean the mirror on the stump grinder. With the Ventrac stump grinder, it's, it's a little different. You you have to watch through this mirror. And uh, I've let this, uh, this one sit in the barn. And so it, it got pretty dirty and I'm gonna clean it off here. I soaked it on the way up here, but it's time to clean her off again. Just a little Windex will do. But you you see your stump through this mirror. And, and let me tell you, it, it sometimes it takes a while to get this to re to reorient yourself because everything's backwards in the mirror. And you certainly have to keep the mirror clean. I'll give it a rough clean right here. Cause again, this has just been sitting in, in my bar, just on the, on the rock floor. And it's accumulated a lot of dust and dirt cause I probably haven't stumped ground in, I don't know, four or five months. The ground any stumps. Let's try to get this good and clean so I can see. And I'll probably set you up and let you watch me grind a few stumps. I may, I may mess up quite a bit as I, as I get restarted doing this. Because I always have to remember that everything is in reverse according to the mirror. I just like it all to be clean. It doesn't have to be perfect. And Ventrac came out with a new stump grinder, I think last week, this week. I'm not going to price it. This one works. I had not got it paid for yet. Clean everything off while I'm at it.
is step number one. I have to always try to roll back over it, make sure I get it packed down and leveled out. Uh, the other stuff I've got to, uh, to, to do is over here to the left uh, in front of the truck. And, and you can see it right there in front of the tires, uh, the trailer. As you can see, the stump grinder on the Ventrax is a little different. Um, on a regular stump grinder, the head turns and the machine doesn't. On the Ventrax, you, you have to turn the machine because it's, it's got that to oscillating center point, which it works pretty good. But you know, for huge stumps, um, this thing it, it does it takes a while longer. But uh, it's okay. I'm still worried about it being off balance. Something's happened to the wheel. I've hit something. I've worn out a bearing or or something. But uh, I've got about six more stumps to go today. One really, really large one. Uh, these are in Maryville. And uh, as soon as I clean up here, I always take the leaf blower and, and blow back around and make sure everything's okay. Like I did, I tr if, I, if I'm near a house or a church or a building, I always try to, to pack... Uh, all the loose grindings back in so so they can mold it easy and you just you want to treat it like your own you want if when you do work for someone you want to do it as good or better than you do for yourself but i'm going to clean up i may let y'all watch me do the leaf blow and that's pretty boring but what I was doing sorry about all the spinning and spurning but anyway what I always try to do is if I am doing a job for someone I always pull my trailer up okay and then I try my darndest I'm I'm still trying to learn how to use this thing and this drives me nuts it will not just it moves when I don't touch it so I come back through, I pull the trailer up, as you can see from from right there, and then, then I come back and I re-use my leaf blower and I blow everything off. I want to do my dang just to make it look to look as good as it possibly can, okay? So there's that. I'm finished up here and getting ready to head out and head to Maryland.
this is going to be a tight one. I'm not sure I can do this without having to, to cut it off a little bit with mine, but we're going to give it a try and see how she goes with my chainsaws, what I meant to say. These other two up here are pretty good, but uh, we're going to eat lunch and then we'll get started. This stump is huge. I, you know, it'll take me a while to get this, and it's almost at the upper reaches of, of what my Ventrack will do. So, And then I've got a couple more uh, right there. There's two more, and see if I can get those in. I, again, trying to remember how to use this gimbal kind of deal. There's a fourth one somewhere, and I'm not sure where it is yet. They're going to come and show me here in a little bit, but it's a beautiful place, okay? Uh, let me focus back here. They're building a new house. Uh, it's got a great view. Let's see if I can make it go all the way around here. Um, overlooking this valley and the mountains here. would be back this way. And uh, well, you can see the mountains over there. Isn't that cool? It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful place. But it's time to get started, so let's roll with it. It's me again, it's Steve with Slope Goat. I'm pretty excited about something I've got going on right now. I'm gonna show you just a little quick preview. I have been thinking about growing my business. And I've got two ways I'm gonna to try to grow it. Uh, one, you're gonna see uh, just a real, real, real brief uh, glimpse at what we're doing. So let's stop right here. Let's see what we've got. Come. Oh, pile of sawdust. What does that mean? We got a big hind end stump here we've been trying to grind. And I am doing a little demonstration on just what's that behind? Could it be? Could it be a dedicated stump grinder? Sure it is. And I have been trying it today. Thanks to Cat Power. Let's see what we've got and what we can do. Hopefully Saturday I can have some video of it in action. Right now, I am like a mule staring at a new gate with this, but I have been playing. This was a huge stunt, by the way, about 22 inches high. Pushed it to this little machine's capacity as far as height goes, and going pretty deep. I'm learning how to use it. Again, I look like a mule staring at a new gate, and here we go. Here it is one last time. Just a quick view. 